Hello there, coders. Foxy Code Dojo here. And today I'm coming back at you with another Flutter episode. Today we're going to start looking at how to make multi screen applications. So, for our little example, what we're going to be creating is a simple reminders app. And we'll have one screen which shows all the reminders, and another screen that allows us to actually add our reminders. Yes. So, like, I know this isn't the greatest UI development but this is just to show a concept. So anyway, let us begin. So what we're gonna do today in this first episode, we're just gonna like work with styling. And in the next upcoming episodes, we're going to actually start with making this multi-screen. So today we're just gonna take a review some of the concepts we've gone over before and that sort of thing. So we're gonna first, I have like a blank stateful widget here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change things up. So first of all, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna change this reminders app. And for, instead of a text, we're going to have a column. And we need some children in this column. And for these children, what we can use today is a card widget. So let me show you what a card is. So a card first needs some children, and we can use just a text filler. So a card has this little bit of inset, it has a little bit of height, if you can see what I mean over there. However, um, this isn't exactly the best thing to do. Like, we're going to need a lot of these card widgets, and we're going to need to update them on their own. So rather than defining it like this, what we can do is we could create another class this we're going to be creating a second widget we're going to call this one a uh, reminder card and instead of extending a stateful widget we're going to extend a stateless widget and i'm just going to copy this bit over here Turn card in there as a filler real quick and return a card and this card will have child of text and we'll just say item sound good and now what we can do is we can remove this card here and we can add in our reminder card widget we say we have an item so now if we put in another one we have another item and another item. However, these items aren't exactly doing anything. So what we need to do is we need to take in some data, an attribute. So we're gonna have final text, and we'll just put semicolon. And now we're going to open up a constructor, which is just the name of the class here in Dart. And we're gonna have to click this dot text, and our, we're gonna replace item, with text. So here, yeah, we're understanding a little bit about how making more widgets works. So we're gonna put in one, we'll put in two, we'll put in three, very simple. Like that, it updates. However, um, this isn't exactly the best card, so let's style this a little bit. So we're first gonna return inside of this card, just to make sure that it takes up all the room available. We're gonna put in a container. And it's gonna have, oops, it'll have a width of double dot infinity. So it'll take up as much room as possible. And we'll give it the child of the text with text in it. There we go, now that's, that card is much longer as you can tell. And what we can do for that card, just for now we're gonna give this a color. I'm gonna give this colors dot red, just so that you can see it better, there's the card. And now we can put in uh, elevation. This will give it more of an inset. So if we put this as 10, you can clearly see that drop shadow behind it. It's very prominent, very easy to see. So now one other thing in here, we're going to remove the text widget. And I'm going to show you, you have, uh, we have a list tile element. We're gonna use this instead. 
So for a list element, we have a lot of things here, of course. However, we're going to add in the attributes of title, and this will be text, and we'll have a subtitle. We'll also call this text just for now, and we'll have a trailing element. For this, we're going to use an icon widget, and we'll come back to this in a moment. So we have a title, which is the text. We can add in a subtitle, so we'll need a different set of text. So first, let's do that. So we'll have title. We'll also make sure that we get a string for title. And then we'll also get a final string, subtitle. And now we'll have for this.title, this.subtitle. And instead of giving these in as positional arguments, we can add in some nice curly braces around us to make them named arguments. Got it? And we're going to need... And, um... That we removed at sign. We copy and paste the required over here. So that's all good. So now we're going to have to change just a sub. This that will be title, and this will be subtitle. And it says string can't be assigned here. We just got to wrap this inside of a text widget. That's all. And then it'll be fine. Okay, that's all good. Oops, not context. It auto filled that, but we change that simply back to subtitle. That's all good. So now we'll have title reminder one, and we'll have subtitle as a. Very simple. Now we're just gonna copy this over, and of of, of course we're not gonna actually be doing this in the final product. This is just for testing purposes, seeing how it'll work, that sort of thing. And now finally we come back here to icon. We're going to change inside. We need to go to icon. We're going to go to icons. Dot. And I'm going to use delete. Simple. And I'll set the color to colors. Dot white for some contrast on the red background. Save that. And we're good. As you can tell, we have our card. Actually, I'm going to change this back to white. And this one will, and our delete tile will be red. Maybe actually we can change this to color, color dot blue, just to get some contrast here. Or maybe lime, I don't know. Nah, nah, not lime, we'll go back to blue. So yeah, so we have item one, item two, item three. And we also have this little icon, which we can use later to delete things. But yeah. This was just a little work with styling, with formatting. You also learned how to create other widgets and use them. This is similar to like creating functions. So yeah, we're going to use this. And in the next episode, we'll start working with multiple screens. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to code.